2021. Here I got a call from a lady. She uh, wants me to go check her heating system. There's something about the radiators weren't getting warm, only halfway up or something. She said I was there a couple of years ago and did something over there. And she's concerned about, wants to make sure it's checked before she turns it on and handicapped or whatever type of thing she's talking about. So we'll go over there and check it out, make sure it's working okay and make sure they take it properly and give her a bill. Gotta eat too, you know, Miss Molly. Oh yeah, we have to buy snacks for Miss Molly, you know. Yeah, you love snacks, Miss Molly. Yeah, you love snacks. I know, yeah, yeah, I know you love snacks. You, you need money for snacks, Miss Molly. Yeah, you love snacks. Anyway, the plumbers are gonna eat too, you know. But try to get you some shots. A couple of years, maybe, you know. I bought this house in 1998. Yeah, there's water in that one. There's water in that one. So, it, is it... Somebody told me it was like air building up. Well, let's, you know... I don't know. There's water in that one. So, maybe you got a bad circulator. What, has it got another one in here? Yeah. Over there. And then there's... There's another one in the bathroom and the... What about upstairs? There's there's two upstairs. The upstairs is not used at all. No, we got water I there. Go up the stairs. We've got water there, so that's not an issue. We'll turn that up to 70. Let's check the other. Make sure the other two there's no air in it. You say the one says none in There's here? One no? there. Okay, yeah, right here. Good cast iron baseboard. Nothing cast iron radiates, nothing wrong with this stuff. Yeah. And there's water coming out. They're bled. So it might be something else. Yeah, it's probably a circulator or something that's bad. This one might be painted. Nope, this one's got air in it. Might have a bad feeder downstairs. Yeah, I could I could smell it coming out. This one's got a lot of air in it. Has anybody worked on the system? What do you mean? You said something about a handyman said something to you? No? No, well, there was a guy that came to, to fix my gas stove in the kitchen. And I was mentioning to him that there's a lot of really, really loud banging. I mean, I'm used to these banging. You know, that's typical. Yeah, this is not steam, though. This is hot water. It shouldn't be, nothing should be banging. Where but was the banging happening? He said it was in the pipes down cellar. Well, maybe it's making steam. Maybe it's, uh, I'll have to, I'm going to check out the system. Okay. I'm just, I'm just checking to make sure that everything's bled. Right. And then we'll, uh, we'll okay. do what we got to do, okay? Yep, and then this is what you wrote up when you were here. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of air in this one. What did, what did I write up? Can't you can't read my writing? <laughs> no. Are you serious? Well, I, I don't know. It looks like you moved a Rolex plug. Molex plug. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. I moved the Molex plug. And the, and the boiler fired up. Okay. Yes, so that was the problem, the, boi the boiler. I was turning up the heat and it didn't... Clear. Yeah, so there's a Molex plug with a... With a um, okay. A vent damper that was probably an issue. So I moved the Molex plug, and that's okay. been how long ago was that? A couple of years? Um, 1917. Oh, 17. So you got five years out of it. Well, yep. four years. And it says, I told owner about replacing, and she wants to wait until if it if and when it stops working again. Well, that was before. That was the mold, like that was the damper control, probably. Right. I told you I would try this. If it yeah. don't work, we're gonna replace it. That was before 
I had major surgery and I am now totally disabled. So I can't take a chance of my heat not working. Right. Well, you got my number. If it goes out, just call me and I come fix it. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. No, but we're here to we're here to okay. check it. We're here to check it. All right. Oh, it seems like a lot of air. It does seem like a lot of flipping air in there. No, I'm only a phone call away, you know, so don't, don't worry about that. I'm not the only show in town here either, you know. There's other guys that do heating repairs. Well, I'd rather somebody that's been here before. All right. Because at least you know you're familiar with the system. I don't think I figured this thing would be bled by now. It's a long time. Feet is an issue. We'll check the feeder. The well, feed is working. Just a big system. Look at this thing. What a ear. running. Probably should have a double O ten here on this system. A big circulator can see this. Gravity system. It's running. My pressure's at fifteen pounds, which should be good. It's just gonna take a long time to heat up. Moved Molex plug to fire burner. It's going out warm. It's going to take a long time to heat this up because it's cast iron. It's only got one inch supply and return. Look at that. Should be in, that should be more than that. That should be probably full inch and a quarter. It should have been an inch and a quarter both ways. You only can get so much heat out of one inch. I think it's 80,000 BTUs out of one inch. Or 60,000 out of one inch. So the boiler's oversized. This piping's not the greatest design. It'll work. It's just going to take time. I got this thing to... All right. I got the water coming out of it now. I mean, this thing was full of air. Okay. But put your hand on it. It's starting to warm up. You can feel it. It's starting to warm oh, up. Yeah. Well, it's just starting. I just turned the heater up. It's going to take a while because this is a big volume system. Is it? It's a very big volume system and it no. takes a while to heat up. Okay. But once once it starts getting cold out, when you've got the thermostat set, it's going to it's gonna come yep. up to speed and it's gonna, you're not going to notice it. Okay. It's just the initial turn up yeah. that's going to take I'm a little while. But I'm telling you, last winter. Well, yeah, it's because I just, I just took like, you know, know, five yeah. minutes of air out of it. It wouldn't get warm, right? It was cold up here. Yeah. It, it only heated maybe... Well, that's because it was full of air. That yeah, was right. full of air. Now, let's check the other ones. It's it's going to take a little while to come up to speed. Now, what about... You're not worried about the second floor? The only reason I would be worried is if there's a risk of um, frozen pipes. There's no pipes up there, right? Yeah, see, it's just going to take some time. That's all. They're just two, two um, of these radiators. 
No, that's fine. These are good radiators. Yeah. I wouldn't change these, that's for sure. No, no, I'm, I'm not. As long as you don't like, some people don't like the looks of them. They take up a little room, but I think they're, well, I think they're beautiful. It's part of a... Rustic, know, rustic look, a you know? A 90-year-old house. Right. So, I wouldn't change them. Yeah, so we're going to leave it at 70. Yep. Yeah, and it is working. It's just going to take some time to come up to speed. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Then want me to check the ones upstairs, see if they they got air in them. As long as you're here, but I think yeah. you should. Yeah. All right. All right. Somebody might come and say. <coughs> I don't think that there's any piping up here. Couple of radiators, you said. I don't see them. She's a leaker. It's a leaker, Mama. She's a leaker. You're putting pressure in the system, that's not the problem. I would have probably piped that inch and a half, and then inch and a quarter both ways into those manifolds, what I would have did. All the air here, this is the second floor. Feel the heat coming up the radiator now. It's all hardwood, it's all on tile up here, so I don't have to worry about no carpet. System like this really needs a double O ten, not that little double O seven. What it needs. Okay, we're ready to get warm, so It's a big volume system. Crazy.
hell to get the water out of it. A lot of air in this sucker. That was a lot of air. Wow. This one's gonna start getting warm now. This one I know second floor too. This one's fine. There was a lot of air on these. Shut the windows, it's gonna start getting cold up here now. Shut this window too. They're getting warm now. There was a lot of air upstairs on that radiator, so that might have affected it, you know, not circulating properly. Okay. Yeah, they're all getting warm now, so. Right. There's the date. What all radiators. Return starting to come back warm. This one's coming back. They're both coming back warm. You can balance it off with this right here. See this? This side's coming back a little bit more than this side. I really can't tell that right yet because... Uh, don't forget there was a lot of air in it, right? What's the pressure at? 20? That's good. No monofold tees, it's all just regular tees. So, a system like this, you gotta make sure there's no air anywhere. She's starting to come back warm now. Both sides, it was just air bound. Yeah, she's gonna work okay now. Yeah, see that there was, there was T's here. If there was air in it, it would have been an issue. Yeah, I had to get all the air out.